Be honest, are you the type of person that is intrigued by design trends? Are you someone like myself that obsesses over the next big color of the year? Well, a bunch of you have been yelling from the mountaintops to take a look at Dutch boy paint. And you know what? I decided to do it. And what better way to introduce it to my audience than to talk about their 2023 color of the year? Well, you see, I've got some good news and some bad news. <laughs> The bad news is, I think their color of the year kind of sucks. I'm sorry. The good news, however, and the more important news in my opinion, is that the three color palettes that are based around the color of the year are actually pretty awesome. And I promise if you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, there will be no more chatter. The color will be given to you on the screen. Did you do it? Okay, thank you. It really does make a big difference, y'all. All right, so the Dutch Boy 2023 color of the year is Rustic Grage. What a punch to the gut for any color enthusiast watching. And I know most of you are, if you're subscribed. They really went ahead and picked a grage as their color of the year. Okay, let's try and make sense of this. The thing is, when you look at this color on its own, doesn't really inspire much, right? I would lovingly call it a mid-tone gruge. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. But also gruge is a color category that I kind of made up that is a reddish gray color. Gray mixed with rouge, kind of a brownie red gray combination. Rustic grayish is really more of a combination of brown and gray rather than beige and gray. And even though I could still see this color being used in 2023, that doesn't mean I think it's a good color of the year candidate. To me, a color of the year should inspire creativity and give us a really clear picture as to where design is heading, mainly in interior design, but also in graphic design and fashion, all that jazz. And if we're headed back to grayish territory, that's not fun for anyone. But I did say that there is a silver lining in this entire situation, and that is in the color palettes that good old Dutch boy have put together in conjunction with Rustic Grage. As we go through these, you'll quickly start to realize that Rustic Grage is the constant in all of them. And by far, it's the most boring choice of each palette. That is by design, in my opinion. There's something grounded about Grage, so it allows you to have more fun with the other colors that are involved. The first color palette is called Plush, and it encourages relaxation as it turns out the cool factor with strong contrasting tones that deliver a sense of depth. So you're obviously starting with Rustic Grage as your first color, and then you have the mega contrasting colors in Ultra White and Ebony Sky. And then you finish up with Silvered Purple. Okay, so on first glance, big deal Dutch boy. Black and white, grayish and a kind of dusty purple. Take a look at how Dutch Boy presents them. That is really the magic of this whole palette to me. Rustic Grage is not the wall color. It's actually the trim and baseboard color. And instead of white baseboards, you have white walls. That silvery purple color becomes the accent on that little vanity. And then you have the black window frames, which is a very striking, almost industrial look. So far, so good in my mind. On the surface, these are four colors that don't seem all that exciting, but when you present them in different ways and change things up, it makes it more exciting. So kudos to Dutch Boy here. Also be sure to keep these color palettes in mind because I want to know which one is your favorite in the comment section. Next up we have the Wistful Trend Palette, which is bold, but comforting, organic, yet eclectic. This one is definitely more vibrant and fun on the surface because you're surrounding rustic grayish with three vibrant pops of nostalgic colors in superhero, maze, and glamorized green. Definitely a very fun approach to a color palette based around such a boring beige color. But what's interesting is rustic grayish in this example is the furniture accent color. Maybe not so much the actual main accent. I would reserve that for green and yellow respectively, but it's absolutely secondary to this abundance of blue. And I do appreciate making the neutral color in a palette second fiddle to a more interesting choice. I just don't know how crazy I am about this baby blue. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just me. And I guess they have it in a bedroom, which is sort of a natural choice, but also kind of a cliche choice to me. But hey, that's just me. Don't let me influence you. Don't even let this paint company influence you. All your design choices should really be about what speaks to you. And if these colors inspire you in one way or another, all the better. The third color palette is called 
Botanic, which blends heritage-inspired colors of earth, sky, and sea to create a warm, reassuring environment that brings nature indoors. And this color palette is surrounding rustic grays with a slate blue, kind of a slate green as well, and then a fun pop of dusty salmon, I guess. Dusty salmon sounds disgusting, by the way. I'm sorry I said that. But the color looks nice. So this is the first example where we see rustic grays being used as a wall color, at least in this front room here. A really cool thing that Dutch Boy did here in this example was connect the two spaces by having that green color on the trim and baseboards, as well as on the fireplace in that back room. Then you have that beautiful blue surrounding it and those pops of pink on the seating. The one thing that I will criticize in terms of how everything is arranged is that pink throw blanket and pillow. It just really makes the peachy pink color on the furniture in the front room a bit dull. Those two just seem a little more rich and dynamic with color, making those two furniture pieces in the front just fall a bit flat. You know what I mean? Is this your favorite color palette of the three? Or maybe it's one of the last two. I want to see your responses first. And then in 24 hours after posting, I will pin my choice in the comment section below. So stay tuned for that. You're also not gonna wanna miss this color right here, which was the Sherwin-Williams HGTV color of the year. But even though I prefer this color choice specifically, I really like these color palettes that Dutch Boy put together. 